In today's video, I'm going to show you the best OBS settings for recording content, obviously videos using OBS. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to settings and uh, we're going to be recording in full HD. So this is not going to be a 4K recording. The first thing we need to do is we're going to go to output and we're going to we can ignore the streaming part. We're going to go to recording before we actually get here. When you you open OBS, if this may actually set up to simple the output mode. So you want to make sure you go to advanced, right? You set it up to advanced and then you go under recording right here. The first thing you need to choose the recording path. So go to browse and then choose any folder that you want on your computer. That's where all your recordings are going to be saved. Now under recording format, you want to make sure you choose fragmented mp4 now fragmented mp4 is the happy medium between mkv and mp4 because if something happens that obs crashes you still gonna have your recover for until when obs crashed right so that's important and of course you're gonna get mp4 format uh, kind of file so you don't have to remax and do all the you know stuff we used to do back in the day right so fragmented mp4 is the way to go Video encoder is going to be NVIDIA NVEC H264 if you have a dedicated graphics card. If you're not using NVIDIA, you're going to have maybe an, another AMD graphics card. Any dedicated graphics card is going to show here under NVEC H264. If you don't, you may use the X264, which is going to be your computer CPU but it may not give you the best quality. So hopefully you have a dedicated graphics card. Audio encoder, just leave it the way it is. Uh, core audio ACC. Audio track, again, you can just use one track if you're just using doing a simple normal recording, unless you have some other stuff like music going on that you want to record on separate tracks that's a little advanced but we can just check one track for now and then rescale output just make sure it's disabled and then we're gonna go to encoder settings now for encoder settings you want to make sure you choose constant qp all right and then constant qp here we want to make sure we put a number anywhere between 16 and 20 should be fine now the higher you go the smaller your files are going to be but also the quality is going to suffer Usually the happy medium for me seems to be around 18. Now, if you're doing long recordings like podcasts and things where like you're recording over an hour or two hours, your files may get really, really big. Okay, so you need to play with this number between 16, 19 ish uh, and find happy medium depending on the length of the files that you're going to be recording. Now, the keyframe interval, you can actually set it to two seconds. It should work fine. No problem. And then for the preset, if you have a super, super buff computer, you can use the slowest, best quality. But for me, slow, good quality actually does work well. You can play between slow, good quality and slower, better quality, depending on the strength of your computer. Everything else, guys, you can leave it the way it is. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to change anything. Just hit apply and you should be good to go. Next, we're gonna go to video. You wanna make sure you actually choose base canvas resolution 1920 by 1080. Output scaled resolution, you wanna make sure you choose 1920 by 1080. Common FPS, if you're doing some sort of talking head videos like me, you can leave it at 30 frames per second. If you're gaming or you're doing things that have like, you know, high motion like sports, you wanna make sure you actually choose 60 frames per second. So for now, we're going to leave it at 30. And then the last thing we're going to actually need to check is going to be our audio. Now, 48 kilohertz should be perfect. No problem. Channels, you want to keep it as stereo. That's good. And then if you go back to output and then go to audio and then track one, because that's the track we're using, we can actually choose the maximum that we have available, which is 320. That's going to give us the highest quality. Now, if you're using some other tracks, you can go ahead and actually set up all the tracks we're gonna be using to 320 all right so once you're done just hit apply and you should be good to go now guys these settings are only for recording now if you have obs chances are you're gonna be using it to live stream as well and these settings are not going to work for live streaming if you want to check out the video that i show you the best obs settings for live streaming i'm gonna link that video right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care